The cardiovascular system is the transport system of the body. It is made up of the heart, which pumps blood back to the rest of the body, arteries, which carry blood away from the heart, veins, which bring blood back to your heart, and blood, which is made up of white and red blood cells and platelets. Cardiovascular health is made up of three components, heart rate, stroke volume, and the amount of oxygen removed from blood. As your cardiovascular fitness improves, your heart rate will lower, your stroke volume will increase, and the amount of oxygen removed from your blood, or the arterial venous oxygen difference, increases because your cells can use more oxygen. Cardiovascular health is made up of both genetic and lifestyle factors. Some people are more prone to cardiovascular diseases due to family history, but most people are at risk of these diseases due to their lifestyle choices. These risk factors include hypertension, high cholesterol, smoking, family history, a sedentary lifestyle, obesity, and diabetes. The two most important things you can do for your health are to get active and eat better. There are two types of exercise, aerobic and anaerobic. Aerobic exercise uses oxygen to create energy, while anaerobic does not. Anaerobic exercise includes things like weightlifting, sprints, and other strength training. Aerobic exercise includes walking, running, and lifting weights at less strenuous levels over longer periods of time. Aerobic exercise maximizes the amount of oxygen in your blood because you breathe faster and deeper as you exercise. It causes your capillaries to expand, which then spread oxygen more efficiently to your muscles. They also carry away carbon dioxide and lactic acid, which can be formed in anaerobic exercise. Aerobic exercise activates the immune system and strengthens the heart and reduces the risk of health problems. Just like any other muscle, the heart must be used to get stronger. Having proper nutrition is also vital to being healthy. Foods with cholesterol block arteries and should be avoided. You need all necessary vitamins and minerals to have energy to exercise. Eating nutrient-rich foods like fruits and veggies and less processed foods help your heart function. Hydration is also very important because it is necessary for function and detoxification. However, overhydration can cause a low sodium concentration in the blood called hyponatremia. It can lead to weakness, nausea, dizziness, and fainting. There are also negative choices that impact your cardiovascular health such as smoking, eating a poor diet, or not exercising. An unhealthy cardiovascular system can potentially result in a hypokinetic or cardiovascular disease. These diseases caused by a lack of physical exercise include hypertension, heart disease, obesity, and chronic lower back pain. As many as 250,000 deaths per year in the U.S. are caused by this lack of activity. A Surgeon General report released in 1996 reports evidence that shows that increasing your physical activity decrease, decreases the chance of having a heart attack or a stroke and reduces the possibility of needing cardiac surgery. Overall, your choices will impact your health and quality of life, and healthy physical exercise and nutrition choices will benefit not only your cardiovascular system, but you.